Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I use highlighters in different ways using high-end and drugstore brands. To get this look, I started off by priming my face just with a water primer. I let it dry for a bit and then I like to rub it in. Once I've done this, I'm going to actually move on to my eyebrows first before my foundation. And this is the Essence Eyebrow Designer in Blonde. When you're doing your eyebrows, it's a good idea to start by brushing them first. Not only is it going to help you find the natural direction of your eyebrows, but it will also help you locate any areas with sparse hairs where you need to fill in a little bit more. Now that my brows are done, I'm going to be moving on to my foundation, and I've been loving this one recently. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and I can never understand the numbers on these, but it's 140Y305. I got color matched at Sephora, and it was the best thing I've ever done. I've never had a foundation match my skin so well, and this is a full coverage foundation. I have a lot of imperfections right now. I've been breaking it like crazy, and this foundation has helped to cover it so much. As you can tell, I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush with this. Sometimes I will use a beauty blender, but for whatever reason, I've just really been loving using a brush lately. So I'm going to make sure I stipple that all over, to, all over my face, making sure to get rid of any redness. And then I sometimes will go back over it with another layer if I find I haven't gotten enough coverage. And now I'm just going to be going back over my brows with the Essence Brow Designer just to clean up the edges after I've put on the foundation. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener. This is in 003. This concealer has a pinky undertone, which I really like. I find that products with pink undertones definitely help to brighten up a lot more than products with like a yellow undertone. So I'm using this underneath my eyes, along the bridge of my nose, and just anywhere that I feel like I want it to pop a little bit more. Using the same concealer, I'm going to be applying a little bit underneath my eyebrows just to highlight my brow bone. This is also going to help to clean up the edges, and I like to just use my fingertips to blend this in, not the brush or the beauty blender. Because your hands are warm, the concealer will melt into the skin much more easily, and I find that it's a little bit more precise when you're dealing with fine edges like your eyebrows. Next, I'm using my CoverGirl Clean uh, Powder Foundation. I don't know what shade this one is in, but this is what I've been using to set my under eye concealer and any highlighted areas. I really like this stuff. It has a really nice fresh scent. And then obviously I'm going to be using my Essence uh, Bronzing Powder, and that's for light to, I think, medium skin tones. I like to use this along my hairline and kind of contour a bit with it, but it helps to give a really subtle contour. It's not anything too sharp and it just gives you a really nice bronzy glow. And to make my nose appear a bit more thin, I like to push the brush down like this and then put it into the product and then just kind of contour along the edges of my nose. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be applying Blame It On Midnight by NYX just into my crease. This is a really nice neutral soft brown and it works really well as a transition color or just to give a bit of warmth to your lids. Thank you. 
Moving on to the main part of the video, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I'm just spraying my brush with a bit of primer water and then I'm packing that onto the center of the lid. This highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a very kind of golden peachy tone to it and I personally love using this on my lids. I find that it makes them look really dewy and shimmery and I think this is a really perfect look for summer or if you're going on vacation or if you just generally want to have a lot of glow. I'm just going back in with my transition shade to give a little bit more warmth to the crease of my eyelid and I'm bringing it slightly in to kind of blend it with the highlighter as well but not too far in because I really want the highlighter to be the focus. Then I'm going back in with the Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector, running that into my tear duct and along my waterline as well. I'm just going to be going back to my brows here for a moment. I wanted to put in a brow gel, so this is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This stuff isn't bad for a really cheap drugstore option, but it definitely does help to keep my brows in place. I haven't tried it on my eyelashes, I don't know if I want to, but I do like it for my brows. Going back to the highlighter, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector again and just running that along the center of my nose and down the bridge of my nose as well. I like my nose highlighted, but this is totally optional. Some people don't like that, but I'm also using that one on my Cupid's bow as well. For a drugstore option, I like to use the Bon Belle Blend and Glow Natural Blush Face Powder. This is actually a really good drugstore alternative to high-end highlighters, and I'm using this along my brow bone to give it a bit more emphasis. And I'm also going to use this just kind of along the bridge of my nose. I found that the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector wasn't giving me what I wanted, um, but I'm also using the Bon Belle one on my cheekbones as well. I do like the Shimmering Skin Perfector here, but it can be really, really intense, and the Blend and Glow just seems to be a bit more subtle. Moving on to my lips, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite lipstick right now. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. It's a really soft brown pinky color, but I have used so much of this, I'm actually running out of it. It smells like chocolate, and it is the perfect color for kind of glam looks and natural everyday looks as well. If you're going to be going on vacation or you're using this as kind of a beachy look, definitely want to use a waterproof mascara, and I'm using the CoverGirl Super Sizer. Once I've done that, I'm going in with the Shimmering Skin Perfector, and I'm actually applying a little bit just onto my lower lip. I find that it gives it a really nice sheen that looks a little bit dewy and wet. And then to set everything, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. This stuff smells really good, and it gives another added effect for that kind of dewy glowy look. So this is pretty much the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you got to compare some of the drugstore versus higher end highlighters and different ways that you can use those products. If you have any other suggestions or you like this, please leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.